Hello, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Let's Play The Way, with me, Malefact. Do, 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 do. We're off to see the Pope, the wonderful Pope of the Way. Before I go over there, I have to turn the battles off. There should be a save point somewhere around here. <coughs> oh man, now is not the time for Seto. There we go. I will turn those battles right back on. For show. Sure. I knew it was coming. It's <gasps> the F list. Oh no, all those crazy Russian spam bots that added me on Live Journal are coming to take their revenge! Or possibly it's just another kind of fliggy creature. It's a cold flig. Man, that does not sound like a pleasant experience. You never say yes to a cold flig. Do, 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 do. Thankfully, I think we can make the flig prone. I mean, flist. It's the only one of the next two bosses that you can make prone, so might as well enjoy it while you can. Uh, tornado should work. Yes! Now it's completely blind as well. This should now be a very easy battle. Yep! What did I tell you? Pretty easy. Clearly I don't have an extensive friends list. And Blaze, I think, has leveled up to maximum, which means we can have uh, atmosphere, because I think nothing but air is pretty cool. Flows, that's the one I want. We want hot blood three, cold blood two, and doesn't really matter what else we put on there. Here we are. Into the Pope Cave. Don't just stand there, let's go! <laughs> Did he go Scottish for a second there? Oh man, maybe Dirk is more Scottish than I gave him credit for. Oh yes, it's a cave! I've missed you, cave. Oh man, I have not missed random battles. Back off you go. Oh, we can have Safety Gust on now. Which can prevent poison and burning. Not particularly useful seeing as we've already got the hot bloods, but it's versatile. This is a kind of small puzzle section. Again, a nice series of little puzzles that break everything up. Uh, it's all about opening the correct doors at the correct places. Uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory once you get used to things. More atmosphere. You won't find the book you want here. Okay. What about in here? I've read all of these already. Whoa. Dirk is a very prolific reader. Try to tear yourselves away from books for just a few seconds, boys. Fair enough. Oh, it's a switch. Let's flick it. Because we need to flick the switch, clearly. So metal doors have become open. Uh, can we open this one? Oh, we need a key. How astute. Thank you for your sarcasm, but it is not appreciated. Okay, Illuminati's up. Which means we should go to Pandamare, which is convenient because we'll be wanting Pandamare for another battle. Doesn't look like light reading. Room key number two is ours. What's wrong? Nothing. I've had the whole mirror spiel before. Stylish. <sighs> I don't know, purple's pretty fashionable these days, right? Oh man, I can't even get into that one. Oh, it turns out we did need to flick the switch. Cool. 
Open the wood doors, we shall. Yeah, come here, you, you yucky piece of slime. Uh, metal doors. Go on, I'm sure there's some goodies to be had. Yep, down here. The uh, wood and metal ones never can be opened. Uh, presumably because they're made of two different materials, which renders the system kind of useless. <laughs> That's room key number three. And I think we have the crit shell we wanted to equip, yeah? Yep. Good job we don't have to eat it. If we backtrack, go all the way back down again, I think that's where the switch is. See all the guided shields up? Yeah, definitely the Pope's bad we're in right now. Okay, before we go down, what? Come here, you! Ugh. Before we go down the stairs, I think it is best to have a little explore out here. Always pays, because there's not only a soul stone, but there's also a piece of pockite and a piece or two of fockite as well. Get your vitamin fockite there. Yep. And down the stairs, into some more caves. I don't know why the Pope likes caves. Perhaps he's bad Pope. Whoa, and Padamare is up. We want to keep Pandamare on for now, even though I really rather have draw. Actually, we'll switch back to Pandamare before we get to the big boss dude. Which I think is coming up any second now. Yep, might as well switch back. Have we got time to fight him? Let's give it a try. I think we've got about three minutes. Here goes nothing. This is a horn jaw, and I think it will soon become apparent why we picked Pandamare. Because the horn jaw is weak to pandas. No, it has this horrible attack which is very likely to blind you. And uh, the great thing about Pandamare is it always, always hits. So you don't have to worry about being blind. Or at least Rue doesn't have to worry about being blind. So he can blind me as much as he likes. Uh, Hurricane Cut is useless. I tend to think we should probably save up the XL Panacea. What? I guess my cunning 100% hit Pandamare strategy did not work. Maybe because it reduces your ability to hit by a certain percentage and... Uh, oh man, I thought I was being clever. <laughs> I thought I was being clever. Oh well. <sighs> Panacea it is for me. <laughs> Fail. This, also, this creature also has a very cool move, um, which I think is the only instance of a battle system having an enemy that uses a Charlie horse on you, um, which is just very cool. Where are you, you lame brains? I'm already anticipating Dirk. Oh, For just one time, please actually work on one of the videos that I show you. I actually, it actually did work during the battle against Karsavoran, except I had to cut that bit out. So it looks like Dirk is completely ineffectual as far as you guys are concerned. Oh, we've got Tornado now, which is an improved version of uh, Dust Storm. Which I just did show you actually last video, so come to think of it. The most the dangerous thing that can happen here is that Dirk is very likely to die, and that means you don't get your Valentine. Oh man, this is taking some time. I'm gonna fade in, fade out if we run out of time as well. Ouch! Don't batter me with your 
battering ram. See, I, I get the joke, but it's sort of wasted on me because I'm now blind. Best thing Dirt can do in most battles, if you're playing through all random battles correctly, is uh, just to, draw, to absorb and uh, use his skills, because he doesn't do very much damage, and I think most of the enemies in this area are strong to his attacks. So there you go. <clears throat> Max Panas. There we go, Charlie Horse. And that is finally that. Gosh, that is a long battle against the Hornjaw. Okay, I'm Malefact. Until next time, ciao.